17th of July 2021. Welcome to the King's Court. We're here at last. Excited to go. My name is Lord Soggy. I'll introduce you to the other gents, kings in the building. APL in the building. What's up, people? Yes, yes, yes. And it's your boy, Samade. Let's go. Awesome. We're going to dive right into UFC 264. Do you know what? We're not going to start with the obvious. We're not going to start off with Mr. <laughs> Conor McNugget. I think I think we should have a little bit of fun and work our way up to that. So we'll start from the beginning of the main card. Sean O'Malley, Fe- fellas, you saw that? You saw that intro to the main card? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, saw it. Sugar Sean, I'm on, I'm on the O'Malley train. Really? I'm on the, I'm a part of the Sugar Show. I don't know about you boys, but I am fully part of the Sugar Show. You know I'm, what? I'm not sold yet. You know what? I, I promise you, I'm not sold yet. The moment. So I was watching it at home, first of all. Mm. I don't know where you guys watched it, but I was watching it at home. Um, uh, for those that are in the UK, so I slept and then woke up just for the main card. So the prelims, I need to watch over. But mm. Sean, um, the moment you get you get a loss and you say it's not a loss because you were injured, for me, so you're starting from a minus already. Yeah, I don't know. that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. But, you know, there's, uh, again, I don't want to talk about McNugget too much, but all his wins are, are, are have an excuse. So I'm on the sugar hype train, and this that was just a little blip that he chooses to ignore. So I'm, I'm with, I'm, uh, yeah, like summer day, I'm, I'm, I'm fully sugared up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's not take, let that take away from the fight itself. Oh. So your thoughts on the fight itself then? Yeah, no, it, no, no lie, it was a brilliant performance. Um, I think, you know what, sometimes when you rely on your power, to get you out of trouble, um, you need to go through fights that that that's not a factor. So you need to mm-hmm. like explore other avenues to get someone out of there. Um, I think the guy, what's his name, Moutinho, is it? Um, yeah, Chris Moutinho. He yeah. came in very last minute, by the way. Shout out to yeah, him because he put up a, he put up a fight. A, a, a fight? I don't call that a fight. He was <laughs> he was probably the one of the best punching bags I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> a fight? Let's no, be no. honest. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me clarify that. He put up he put up a brave front. Because to yeah. eat durable, those shots, as yeah, they say yeah, in the states, yeah. he was durable. He, he, <laughs> let, let, he'll be a solid UFC fighter, right? None of us think that he's going to get released. I think he's going to, you know, he's going to stay in the roster. Yeah. Um, so that was a good performance. I'd give it probably a seven out of ten for, for the Sugar Show. Yes, seven out of ten. Yeah. Okay. I think he was showing his full arsenal. I wanted to. I, I agreed. You know what? I, I did want to see a little bit from Sugar. I wanted to see him switch it up because you obviously have a guy. He admitted it at the end of the fight. His hands were hurting from how many times and how hard he was hitting him. Yeah. So imagine that. So if your hands are hurting, I want to see you switch it up. I want to see a little bit more innovation around the kicks. I potentially want to see a bit of jiu-jitsu, a bit something else, because you know, basically, I think as a fighter, you know, if you're clocking somebody with your best punches and you're in a three-round fight and you're getting to the last round and he's still standing. And the guy, Chris Martino, he didn't take a step backwards. No, he was like no. a zombie. Yeah, Forget yeah. that Korean zombie. Get that. This, this was a green head zombie <laughs> who just zombie. kept on. Yeah, he yeah, just yeah. didn't take a step backwards. So yeah. for me, I kind of think because of his durability and because of the way he was just taking everything Sugar Sean had, I think that he deserved to see the, the, the end of the fight. He I did. can't believe that Herb jumped in with, what, 27 seconds to go and yeah. called it off. What did you think about that? You know, for me, Herb is he's a brilliant referee, but lately he's had howlers mm. lately. I can't recall all of them, but certainly that one. I think if you've let somebody take that much damage, the least you can do is let him stand, stand up and, and, and go out on his feet. You know, um, so but yeah, fair play to Sean. He did he did what he had to do. He beat who was in front of him. Um, and w- what do you guys think about him calling out uh, all the guys he called out? I think he was calling out. Um, he called out uh, no love. Yeah. No love. Yeah, no yeah, love. yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. I, I want to see that. I think I think what Sean he's doing now is good I think his journey to the top he needs to be fighting these not these journeymen because Mantino is a new guy but he needs to be fighting these fighters at that level you don't want to push him into the deep end too early Cody for me Cody is underachieving at the moment in time that guy is a savage but but he lost to Rob Font like yeah. for him if he beat Rob Font he would have got that title shot or at least got a title shot in I think is it the um, is it straw weight not the straw weight the uh, bantam weight yeah. bantam weight yeah. um it's that power, but I think he does him. 
I think Sugar Show does him. Really? Yeah. Uh, for me, it's it's. Have we seen Sean take a hit? Like, have we seen him take a punch before? Like, fully. You know, by by a power puncher. Because sometimes you know what Mike Mike Tyson says, right? Like, everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face. And for me, it seemed like everything went Sean's way that night. And like his plan didn't derail, right? So I guess Cody will propose some problems that he's probably never seen before. And um, if if it's made, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I would say that's a good point. I would say Chris definitely connected with about. He was throwing hooks, wild hooks, and I would say at least four or five of those hooks connected. Mm. And to be honest, it didn't stop Sugar's momentum. Considering it's Chris Martino, all he did was step forward like a zombie. I give him credit for that. But I have to, to be honest, I might bump up Sugar's score from a seven to an eight only because he threw all those shots. He broke records in terms of how many, Most how many kicks, strikes. significant strike the eight were, were, were thrown. And not only that, he would have, he would have, the record would have been substantial had it not been stopped 27, sec, 27 seconds early. Um, and let's not forget, he did all of that whilst being chased. Basically, he was throwing those shots coming backwards you know how it how hard it is to fight yeah. in, in a whole fight stepping backwards because you've just got this zombie who just keeps on coming at you so i'm going to bump him up to an eight because i think on the show I, I would have liked him to see switch it up i think the cody will be interesting i don't want to call it yet to be honest i want to see cody what cody does in his next fight i think it'll be interesting um and then you obviously have to take into consideration the rankings because I think there's still a big disparity between yeah, the two. Yeah, I was going to say, where does he sit now? Where, where does Sean sit in the rankings at the moment? Because he was out of the top 10 for, for a while, which is wild, by the way, because I have no idea what those rankings are based on. Um, the mere fact, we'll get to the main event, but the mere fact that one of the main eventers is in the top five, for me, is, is criminal, really. Mm-hmm.